Mobile Industry Review, Mobile Developer TV. I'm Cheryl Goodman, I'm the Director of Marketing and Publisher Relations for Qualcomm MEMS Technologies. Uh, just, uh, what, what's MEMS mean? MEMS means, uh, and that's a capital M, capital E, capital M, S, Microelectrical Mechanical Systems. It's simply very rapidly moving micron scale technology, very robust. And uh, for, for the, the, the semi-lay mobile person, this is screen technology? Yeah, display technology. It is the interface to all consumer devices, a display. We have uh, handsets that are in China. We also have WCDMA cameras in Korea and some other devices in the U.S. I'm going to show you a mirror cell display. And the reason why you should care about a mirror cell display is it's truly low power. It's on an order of 50% more than an average display technology. Little known fact that the display is the number one power consuming component in a device. And so if you could offset power by putting a low power display in, you're rocking and rolling, your customers are happy because the device lasts longer, carriers are making money because they're downloading more apps, everyone's happy. So low power, super sunlight visibility, that means when you take it outside, it's not going to be flooded out by the sun, you're not fighting the sun, you're using the sun, which is very cool. It runs video, it's inherently rapid response time, uh, and it is also color. And so this is important. E-reader technology, since it's been deployed, has been a black and white experience, which is awesome for books. It's really created a fun category, e these e-reader devices. But it's really limited us for magazine content, for video content, and for color. And last time I checked, we live in a color world. It's based on the concept of biomimetics. And that basically means we've mimicked nature to create our color. And so we use the ambient light in the room. That's just the, just the light found in this environment. And these little MIMS devices actually modulate the light wave, which is very cool. It moves just like this. And so this would be green, this would be red, this would be whatever. And in a closed state, it would be black. So it's modulating very rapidly to give you color. That means no backlight, super reflectance. Obviously, it's small, it's robust, it's perfect. Okay, so what you're looking at is a cache demonstration of a mirror cell display. This is a 5.7 inch, and this is a mirror cell display running color content. As you can see, this is video rate content, perfect for magazines. That means uh, ideally with the e-reader device that we're uh, going to bring to market with a partner at, towards the end of the year, that partner will be able to, or that consumer will be able to access content, run beautiful video and do anything that they would expect to do on a normal display except at the fraction of the uh, power uh, that a traditional liquid crystal display would um, uh, cost a user in battery time. Uh, magazine content is ideal for a mirror cell display, especially because magazine content is immersive, poolside, relaxing reading. You need that sunlight viewability. This is the type of experience that we're, we're used to with the uh, black and white displays, but we know that we live in a color world. We know that uh, users want to see graphs and colors, they want to see imagery and color, and that's what mirror cell display is good at doing in addition to bringing that video. You know, it, it's important to know uh, that this is a one and only technology. There's not another company that's using interference or ambient light to create color. That is the defining point and the defining difference. It's the reason why we're low power. And I believe that it, the end consumer can see, anyone watching this video can see that the color quality is uh, phenomenal. MirrorCellDisplays.com. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> very much. <laughs>